Okay, welcome back guys. Mr. Hurley here. In today's video, we are going to learn how to make your own fossil. You heard me right. We're going to learn how to make your own fossil. Because, you know, we live in the city and we can't go fossil hunting all the time. Okay, so if we can't go fossil hunting all the time, let's make a fossil at home. All right, I hope you liked my fossil video. So I definitely wanted to follow up with this video on how to make your own fossil for kids. Okay, so let's go over some of the materials that you'll need to make your own fossil. All right, now these materials will not cost you very much money. I think I spent uh, like $12, maybe a little bit more on all of these materials, okay? So let's go over the materials that we're gonna need to make your own fossil. Here we go. First of all, you're gonna need modeling clay, modeling clay, okay? Now this is the five pound bag of modeling clay, okay? It cost me around $10, okay? Now, you could get a smaller bag. You could get a two pound bag. I think the two pound bag was around $5.50 and you could have it delivered to your house for free, okay? If you have Amazon Prime, all right? If you don't, a couple bucks for uh, shipping, not a big deal, all right? Now, I have the five pound bag, so I figure that I can make five fossils from the five pound bag. If you get the two pound bag, you could make two good fossils with the two pound bag. Okay, so number one, you need modeling clay. Now I got the white colored, get the white colored. You could get other colors, but I like the white color because at the end you can paint and we're gonna go over that later. You could paint your fossil. Okay, and the white clay is the best for painting your fossil when it's all dried and ready. Okay, so you need modeling clay. What else do you need? Well, you need a rolling pin, okay? Now you might have one of these in your kitchen used to roll dough. We're gonna use this to roll the clay, okay? If you don't have a rolling pin, okay? You could use anything that's shaped like a rolling pin, maybe a baseball bat, okay? Or anything shaped like this cylinder here. So rolling pin, an old one will be good, okay? Because if you use the rolling pin, you might not want to uh, make some cookies with it for a while because I don't, I don't know if you like clay flavored cookies. So you probably could wash it and it'll be okay. But rolling pin, you need that. Or something like a rolling pin. Okay, what else do you need? Now, those are the only two things that you need to buy. You might already have the rolling pin, okay? You probably need to buy the clay. The other things you probably already have at home, okay? You need a flat surface, a hard flat surface, okay? Like this right here, all right? Then you need newspaper, okay? Get a piece of newspaper. That's pretty basic. And you need wax paper, wax paper. You might, you probably have this at home, okay? If you don't, you might need to buy some wax paper, okay? Wax paper is very important so that your clay does not stick to the surface when you're building your fossils. All right, so those are the basic materials you need. Optional materials, optional, okay? Those are the materials that you have to have to build it. Optional materials, okay? Like I said, you might want to paint your fossil when it's all finished. So optional, you get some paints. These are, these are oil paints. You could use watercolors, any kind of paint. Okay, this was pretty inexpensive too. Paint, optional, and paint brushes if you're gonna paint your fossil. Remember, that is optional. You don't, if you don't wanna paint your fossil, you don't need to. Okay, I'm gonna paint a couple of mine just to see how it comes out. Okay, so let's move on. Now, what are we gonna use, or what kind of fossils are we gonna make? What kind of fossils are we gonna make? Okay, remember, fossils are made 
in sedimentary rock. We learned about that in our last video. Okay, so we're gonna pretend that our clay is sedimentary rock. All right, and we're gonna make five fossils today. Five super cool fossils today that you're gonna like. And you're gonna, after this video, you're gonna wanna do this on your own because it's gonna be a lot of fun, okay? So the five fossils we're gonna make today, okay, are gonna consist of these. We're gonna make two plant fossils with two leaves. So I have a leaf here from my yard, okay? Now notice the leaf is very like strong and thick, okay? And it has nice, you know, markings and those nice, we call those ribs on there, okay? Because you want your fossil to turn out some, you know, like this and look really cool like the leaf, okay? So make sure if you pick a leaf to use that it's kind of sturdy, kind of strong, okay? You don't want a leaf that's gonna rip and bend and all that kind of stuff, okay? So a strong leaf. Okay, I have another leaf. Now this one is a little flimsier, not as strong. So we're gonna see how that works out. It might work out good. It might not work out very good. We're gonna give it a try though. But if this one works out, it's gonna look really cool, okay? This one comes from a fig tree. Okay, if this one works out, it's gonna look super cool. Okay, and then we're gonna do some other fossils. We're going to do your basic shell fossil. Shell fossil, okay? This is a really cool scallop here, all right, that I found on the beach. So we're gonna make our own fossil of this super cool scallop shell. Look at the, the inside. That's where the animal would have lived right there, okay? All right. Then, we're gonna get a little bit crazy on this one, so buckle up on this one, all right? We're gonna make a fossil of a fossil. Did you hear that right? A fossil of a fossil. Is that possible? No, it's not, okay? But, since we're making it on our own, we could do whatever we want. That's what the cool thing about this. So we're gonna make a fossil of a fossil. Think about that for a second. That's pretty cool. So we're gonna make a fossil of this fossil. Wow, we'll see how that turns out, okay? Now that can't happen in the natural world. You, you can't go out and find a fossil of a fossil. You could just find a regular fossil. But in Mr. Hurley's class, you could make a fossil out of a fossil. Wow, cool, all right. And then our fifth fossil, we're gonna get kind of crazy again. So buckle up again, all right? We're gonna make a fossil of an artifact. Wow, how are we gonna do that? Well, we're gonna try it. We're gonna make a fossil of an arrowhead, okay? Now, once again, you will not find a fossil of an arrowhead in the natural world. You will just find an arrowhead but we're gonna make a fossil of an arrowhead. So we're getting pretty wild over here. Okay, so hope you're excited about this. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're gonna start with our modeling clay. But before we do that, we have to get our surface prepared. Prepare your surface. Prepare the surface that you're gonna be working on. So make sure it's a hard, sturdy surface. Okay, because you're gonna have to be pressing and putting pressure down. Okay, so make sure you have a hard, sturdy surface. To prepare your surface, you need your newspaper. So I got a little piece of newspaper. I'm just gonna put it flat right there. Newspaper, flat, all right? Then, after your newspaper, get out your wax paper. Now, the wax paper is very important so that your fossil does not stick to the surface. So tear your wax paper and put that nice and flat as well. Okay, so you have hard surface, newspaper, then wax paper. Okay, all right, now you're ready for your modeling clay. So let me open this guy up. All right.
Okay. Pretty hard. Oh. All right, well, I broke off two pieces. So that would be about two pounds. So if you buy the two pound bag, you're gonna get about that much. Okay, enough to make two cool fossils. Okay, I'm gonna break this in half. Okay, now I have about one pound of modeling clay. Notice it is white so that when our fossil dries, we can paint it possibly if you wanna do that. All right, you take your clay and go ahead and form it into a ball. Now this clay is a little bit hard, but it is moving. It is moving into a, a ball shape. So model this clay into a ball. Taking a little bit of time here, okay? All right, it's almost there. It's almost there, okay. All right, looking good, looking good. Almost there, guys. So it doesn't have to be a perfect ball. You could even roll it around on a surface if you want. Maybe that will help. I'm just gonna do it with my hands, okay. I think that's about good. Doesn't have to be a perfect round ball, just something like that. Go ahead and put it down on your wax paper, okay? Now, this is where you're gonna need to apply some pressure. You're gonna have to stand up and you're going to flatten your clay. So I'm applying a lot of pressure here. So that's why you need Okay, that's why you need a strong surface. So you don't wanna break anything. Okay, so it looks something like that now. Not too flat, okay, not too thin. You don't want your clay too thin or else when you put press your item in to make the fossil, it's not gonna work out too well, okay. Whew, that was a little bit of a workout there. Okay, so now, rolling pin, rolling pin, here we go. So now I'm gonna roll it out a little bit. Now remember, do not make it too thin. If you make it too thin, it's not gonna work out for you. Okay, so I'm gonna roll this out. Let me stand up to do this. I'm actually holding the paper. I'm actually holding the paper and just rolling it with my hand. Seems to be working better. Okay, so you wanna roll, roll, and roll. Keep on rolling. If I hold it by the handle, then the paper's gonna slide off. So this is working okay. I'm just using my hand to roll. Roll, roll, roll. Okay. Let's see how that works. All right. I think that's gonna work. Notice it's not too thin. If you make it super thin, it's not gonna work out. So not too thin, I think this is gonna work. Okay, so I have my flat sedimentary rock. Now we're gonna make our fossil, get ready. Okay, so let's go ahead and let's do, let's do our leaf first. How about the leaf? Okay, this is more of our stronger sturdy leaf. So I wanna use, I don't wanna use this side I could, I'm gonna use the back side so I could get more detail on my fossil. I could get those cool looking ribs on the leaf right there. Okay, so I'm just gonna take it, okay? Press it down hard, 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 okay? Now keep it pressed. 
I'm putting a lot of pressure on this. Okay. All right. So, imagine millions of years ago, sedimentary rock, the leaf falls in, down into the rock, and then the sediments cover it, and millions of years later, Ah, we have a fossil, a leaf fossil. Wow, look at those ribs. It turned out pretty good. Okay, so fossil number one. We're going to let this guy dry. We're going to let this guy dry, and maybe we'll paint this one. But wow, I'm pretty happy with that. It turned out pretty nice. Okay, turned out pretty nice right there. Okay, so we have fossil number one. Let's try another one. I'm gonna put that to the side. We'll let that one dry. And let's try another one. So, got the leaf done. Get your clay, right? Put it into a ball. Okay, so I'm working it into a ball. This is where you get your exercise too. I'm almost breaking a sweat here, guys. Kind of a warm day today. All right. So form a ball, form a ball. Now, if you want to roll it on the ground, well, I don't know if you want to do that because then you might get your clay dirty. Don't do that. Don't roll it on the ground. But if you want to roll it on a clean surface, that might work too. I'm just going to use my hands here. Okay, so ball. Remember, we call that a sphere, right? Geometric shape, round like a ball, a sphere. It's not gonna be a perfect sphere, obviously, but that's about good. Yeah, that's about good. Okay, so the same process on my wax paper. Stand up so you get good leverage. Palm and then hand and press down, down. Use your palm. Now this clay is a little bit hard, so it's taking a little bit of effort, but there we go. All right, I'm at about that size right there, about that thickness, but I wanna get it a little thinner than that. So that's where my rolling pin comes in. All right, so here we go. So I'm not going to use the handles like last time. I'm just going to roll it like this with my hand so the paper doesn't move. So I'm just going to roll and roll and roll. I wish I could use the handles. It would make it a lot easier. Maybe you guys can figure out a way to use the handle to do it. All right, but this seems to be working pretty well. All right, just about there. Okay. That was a good workout. All right. So I made this one a little bit thinner, but that's about a good thickness that you would want. Nothing, probably nothing thinner than that. Okay. So let's fix this up a little bit. Hmm. Let's pick our next fossil that we're going to make. Let's try. We did the, we did the leaf before. Let's try the shell. Now this might be kind of tricky because I don't want to break this shell, okay? If it breaks, oh well. I might have to start over, okay? But I'm gonna try to create our shell fossil. So I'm gonna use this side because it has more detail. This side of the shell has much more detail than that side. And this side 
you know, is too curved. So I'm gonna use this side. Okay, so I'm gonna place it down and I'm just gonna use my thumbs this time. I'm not gonna use my hand because it's gonna break. Okay, so I'm gonna use my thumb. Okay, it's breaking a little bit. Eh. Not too bad. Okay. Not too bad. It broke a little bit, but fossil shell. Fossil shell. Cool. Yeah, it turned out pretty good. I like it. All right. Definitely looks like a fossil shell. Look at all that detail. Cool, we just made a fossil shell. All right, I like this. So we're gonna let this one dry too, okay? We'll let this guy dry and maybe we'll paint it. We could paint it orange like the shell was. Okay, it kinda, I heard it crack, but it's still good. So I, I made the fossil without cracking it. Wow, that was cool. All right, let's go for fossil number three. Here we go, guys. Bear with me, I gotta get some more clay out. All right, fossil number three, here we go. Remember, you gotta start with the ball. Start with the ball. Okay. Whew. I didn't know this would be such a workout on this video. I'm getting, Mr. Hurley's getting his workout today. Kind of warm, that's why. Okay, just about ready. Just about ready. Okay. So I got a nice little ball right there of clay. One pound. That's a one pound ball. All right, so get your leverage. You gotta stand up to get your leverage. And press down, down, down. Make it flat. Down, down, down. Now you could definitely have your parents help you with this. Okay, down. Down, okay. So, here we go. About the same thickness as we had before. All right, let's get out our magical rolling pin. Here we go. And roll. This one's turning out good. Roll, roll. Yeah, I'm making this one a little bit thinner because I got to make a bigger fossil this time. Okay. Maybe a little bit more. That should do it. All right. So, now we're going about that thing because I want to make a bigger fossil this time. So, here we go. Buckle up. We're going to make our fossil out of a fossil. Never been done before. Fossil out of a fossil. We're breaking new ground here, guys. Here we go. Let's see how this turns out. So I'm gonna press down hard, hard. Okay. Whew. Nice. Wow. Okay. 
We got a little bit of dirt on this guy, but take a look at that. That is cool. Fossil of a fossil. That's gotta be, that's gotta be one of the first time that's done. Fossil out of a fossil, guys. I'm pretty happy with that one. Now notice I got a little bit of dirt on there from the fossil itself, but not a big deal. Fossil out of a fossil. I like that. All right, that's a cool one. It's gonna look even better when it dries. And we might even paint that one. We could paint that one, okay? We could paint it to look like the real fossil. Wow, that might be cool. Maybe we'll do that. All right, let's keep going. Got two more fossils to make. Stick with me, guys. I know you're loving this. Stick with me. All right. Got my clay. Same process. Same process. Make it into a nice ball. Okay. Hope you're enjoying this video, guys. Okay, and I hope you're going to try this at home, okay? It's very inexpensive and fun, especially since we're stuck in the house a lot these days because of the shutdown. So there's something you could work on at home, okay? All you have to do is buy your clay, and you could have that shipped to your house, okay? You don't even have to go anywhere to get it, okay? You probably already have the rolling pin at home. Just borrow, borrow it from the kitchen. Make sure you clean it though nicely. Like I said, you don't want you don't want clay flavored cookies. Or maybe you do. I don't know. Maybe you do. I've never tried them, but hey, who knows? Okay. So I got my ball. Now let's put the pressure down on it to make it flat. Here we go. Pressure. 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 Now move your palm around. Move your palm so that you put pressure in different places. Pressure. Pressure. Okay, almost there. Okay. You fix this up a little bit. But there we are, about that thickness. That works. Rolling pin. Okay, yeah, look at the rolling pin. It's getting a little bit dirty there, but that's okay. So roll, roll, roll. Take a look at it. About the same. Nice thickness. I think we're ready. Okay. So let's do, let's break ground again here. Let's do it again. Fossil of an arrowhead. Fossil of an artifact. Never been done before. We're going to do it. Buckle up. Here we go. So I'm going to place the arrowhead down flat and I'm going to use my palm to press it in to make the fossil. Lots of pressure. Okay. Now it might be a little bit tricky to get this one out because I press it in pretty deep. All right. It came out pretty good. Let's take a look at it. Not bad. Fossil of an arrowhead. Wow, pretty cool. Now remember, you're never going to find a fossil of an arrowhead. It doesn't exist. 
okay? But you can make one at home and have fun doing it. Take a look at that. Pretty cool. I might paint this one too, okay? Might paint it. All right. And on the next video, I'll show you what they look like painted so that you, maybe you want to paint yours as well. Let's go on to our last fossil, my last piece of clay. All right. Mr. Hurley's getting to work out today. I'm almost breaking a sweat, guys. Okay. So let's make this. Nice and round. Okay. That's about good. Doesn't have to be perfect. All right, now let's do the heavy lifting. Press and make that pressure. 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 Pressure, pressure. Okay. Then rolling pin. Roll, roll, roll. Feel like a baker today. Wow, now I know what a baker does all day. Don't know if I want to do that. But I do love bakeries. Okay, there we go. So I got a nice thickness, not too thin, not too thick. Okay. And we're going to do our last fossil for today of our fig leaf. Okay, fig leaf. Now this one might be a little bit tricky. So we'll see what happens. I'm going to use this side. Because like I told you, this side has much more detail than that side. So I'm going to use the side with the most detail. Okay, so let me place it down. And then this time, I'm going to use a book. A super cool book. Okay, rocks, fossils, and arrowheads. I love this book. But I'm going to use the book to press it down. Okay, now you could do this too. So take the book and get it pressed down with a lot of pressure. Okay, now let's see what happens. All right. I might just leave it like that. Hmm, maybe. Well, now let's take it off. Ooh. Wow, that is cool. Whoa, -ho -ho. I like that one. That might be our best one. That is cool. Now the leaf ripped, but we got the fossil. That is super cool. I like that's probably my favorite one. Glad we did that. All right, so guys, that, has, that is how you make a fossil at home, okay? A lot of fun, low cost. The items do not cost very much money. All you have to do is buy the clay. You probably already have the rolling pin. If you don't have a rolling pin, use something shaped like this, baseball bat, okay? Small baseball bat, right? Or something shaped like a cylinder. This is a cylinder. Okay, now there's one other thing that you could do before they dry. If you want to, and I'll do this, you could use a toothpick or a pencil and you could write your name on the fossil. Okay, so let me go ahead and do that. I'm just going to put my initials, GBH.
There it is. Fossil from GBH. Cool. Hope you guys like this activity. Hope you guys like this video. Okay? If you haven't done already, please like the video and subscribe. If you like any of my other videos, do the same. Now, there's one other thing that you could do, and we'll talk about this next time. You can bury your fossil. If you want to get really wild and really go, go for it on this thing, find a place that you're allowed to dig. Don't dig in somebody else's yard. Dig somewhere where you, you're allowed to dig and secretly bury your fossil. Bury it. Remember where it's at. Now, this is after it dries, of course, after you dry this. Now, it's going to take about one day to dry. So if you want to get really wild here and have a lot of fun, after it dries and you paint it maybe, you could bury it like a real fossil. Then wait like a couple weeks maybe and take a friend over there and dig it up. Don't let the friend know though. I guarantee you that friend is going to be amazed. Going to be cool. All right, guys. All right, so on our next video, we'll paint some of these and we'll see how they turned out. Thank you for watching. See you next time.